Hi, my beautiful soul. This is Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker and uh, my name is Melina. Um, today, um, Spirit has told me to make uh, another uh, Celtic cross because yesterday I made one um, that was uh, mostly for uh, the female, uh, divine feminine part of uh, a love reading. Um, however, it told us a lot about the relationship with divine masculine. But today they're wanting me to tell you um, a little more about what divine masculine is going through right now. Uh, so, um, And they wanted me to do it in the exact same uh, style I did yesterday. Um, I'm going to put a link up for you guys uh, to the reading I did yesterday. So today we're getting um, a little closer to what uh, this Divine Masculine is actually uh, feeling um, about you or what his, uh, mm, how he's interacting in this relationship. And... Um, so let's get to know him a little better. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Uh, even though you didn't watch um, the video um, yesterday, it doesn't matter if you're here. This is a timeless love reading, daily uh, time, timeless love reading. And, um, you know, it's still for you. Um, so um, let's uh, give it a shot. <laughs> so what's going on with you? Divine uh, Masculine. So we, we have the first card here and that is uh, the situation. It represents the situation for this Divine Masculine. Okay, this card is uh, called uh, Five of Earth. Uh, it says so in Danish, Five of Earth. That means uh, um, Five of Pentacles. So to him... Okay, to him, his life is uh, is all about um, trying to uh, make a lot of things work, and and uh, and he's uh, sort of in a sort of a, in a cocoon. He doesn't. Um, see exactly what's right in front of him. He, uh, there is a treasure right in front of him and it glitters and of gold and diamonds, but he can't uh, see it clearly uh, right now. Um, so, um, yeah, he's sort of in a standstill, but it's right before a change. The Earth of is, Five is a change. So um, just let me, I, I just want to read what they're saying here. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's all about um, that there is actually um, a way to get to abundance um, if you're just willing to see it. Or just let yourself um, um, remove the carton, <laughs> remove the blanket from from that's holding you from seeing the truth. All right. And in the Celtic cross, we have a card crossing this situation. Let's see what's what that is. Okay, it's the hanged man. And that is actually such a good card because poor divine fem masculine right now, sorry, um, <laughs> poor guy, um, he's sort of trapped in his own situation. Um, but this card gives us a promise that uh, he can actually do a 180 and... Uh, if he dares, <laughs> uh, become uh, really light and happy in his life. Look at this uh, hanged man in the uh, in the uh, um, opposite direction. 
uh, how uh, light he is. He's sort of flying. He's flying. Um, but right now, he's hanging upside down. <laughs> yeah, that can be very uh, comfortable. <laughs> okay, so Divine Masculine... Um, Let's see what your conscious thoughts about this uh, situation here are. What do you what are you conscious about? All right. 10 of 9 of air, sorry. 9 of air. Um Yeah, you're conscious about the fact that you're feeling uh hung upside down like a ham or something. <laughs> because you're sort of um feeling sorry for yourself. You're feeling like mm, I have been cursed. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I have always been cursed, and uh, I'm I'm just going to be stuck here. And um, he's uh, sort of playing a martyr right now um, to um, make up for his thoughts about how life shouldn't work out for him so um but this is an, a number nine nine of air is all these thoughts hovering around him hovering around hovering around hovering around uh, and um he's sort of um self-proclaiming uh to uh um, be right about um, all the negative thoughts that he's been having but the nine promises us that uh, we're at the end because nine is uh, the last number from one to nine so um, he's right before <laughs> uh, his new beginning um, but sometimes spirit says um <clears throat> the night is darker just before dawn. Okay? Poor divine masculine. Well, spirit has a lot of things to say, so let's just see. Uh, all right, his unconscious thoughts uh, about the situation. Yeah, it's for water. This promises um, a beautiful sensation of tenderness and uh, just uh, abundance and pleasure and um, a deep sense of love and uh, peace. Um, this is Four of Cups in uh, traditional Tarot and uh, it's actually a, um, a card of luxury. Um, so, um, someone caring, uh, about him or so he, he can care about someone. It's emotional richness. It's, um, it's just love and, um, yeah, beautiful abundance. And these are his unconscious feelings. So that is the reason why he's wanting to turn his life around. This is what he wants. You see? He knows that he can have this if he just stand uh, the right way, way up. <laughs> so, um, thank God this is what he's actually, he, does, he knows that this can happen. He knows this in his in unconscious um, emotions. And we'll see uh, what happened in the near future. Um, no, sorry, past. Now we're, we're in, in the past now. <laughs> uh, this Celtic uh, cross has all these different types of uh, um, sayings about each card, so I have to uh, keep sharp. Anyway, this is about the past. What just happened? What just expired? Okay. The king of earth, that's the same as the king of pentacles. Uh, and this king, um, let me know, spirit. 
um, has been working uh, really hard to get to where he is and he is um, um, he's uh, being um, uh, a proof for his talents um, because he is very talented and uh, people look up to him for this uh, work he's doing and uh, he's um, he he has he has a lot of different roles in his life um, a lot maybe a lot of different jobs um, or just um, He's all over the place in a physical sense, uh, all the time, um, working here, working there, and uh, he's busy, Spirit tells me. Um, he's, um, and he's working um, to take care of um, other people and um, to um, feel accomplished within himself within him himself as well um, he has a need to feel accomplished and he has a need to have his hands on every single thing he does um, uh, so yeah he's been busy um, he's been busy and he's been up in his head thinking um, uh, I I, I can't get around to all the things I want to do and but I I'm he's been in into his feelings saying uh, something has to happen because uh, you're wanting this uh, emotion in your life right and then uh, the, the king of earth is uh, is like okay okay I'm working I'm working I'm working I'm working <laughs> I'm doing my best I'm all over the place and I'm you know I'm I'm just taking care of everybody. So, uh, seems to me he must be stressed, a little stressed, um, and not really uh, feeling he can find uh, the time to do all of these things. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> the card of the near future. This is the card of the near future. Oof. <laughs> Number 15, this is the devil card. And in Danish it says temptation. <laughs> okay. Mm. Let me just connect. Okay. Spirit tells me that he actually, he sees this uh, for, uh, for a water. Uh, I think it's a woman. Um, this is divine feminine, and uh, he's uh, he's feeling that she's he's feeling tempted by her, and there is something not really right um, about this uh, relationship. He he thinks this card tells me that everything is right, but he feels like uh, he's gonna have to take a bite of an apple. And uh, we all know uh, how that turned out when uh, Eve uh, took a bite of that apple and yeah, created um, what we know as Genesis and um, the story <laughs> behind that. So, um, uh, but you know, that's the devil and you can never really trust the word of the devil, right? You can never really trust that this is true, that this um, is a temptation. It can be a temptation, but it doesn't mean that it's bad or it's good. Um, you can't trust the devil. So um, I hope Divine Masculine will get around to making his own choice about what he feels about this. Uh, sorry, the video just went out <laughs> so I'm really feeling the energy of this hanged man <laughs> here I'm gonna continue now um, 
with uh, this card and this card represents our divine masculine's um, feelings and questions about this, the topic we're speaking about here and divine masculine um, wow he has the queen of air and this queen of air um, tells me that um, He's getting clearer uh, <laughs> up in his head about what it is he wants. Because this is the queen of uh, swords in uh, traditional tarot. And we know that swords are sharp, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> but yes, because this queen of air, she is uh, really sharp. And she knows uh, where to put her boundaries Um and uh, she feels uh, secure within herself um, in that knowing um, that she is, uh, she knows the truth about who she is and what she wants. So, um, okay, coming from here and there and everywhere, uh, he's getting closer or he's actually, uh, I think, reached a point of making a decision it's possible for him um, at least all right um, the next card is about divine feminine this person who he has in his life uh, this person um, and the person that he's felt temptation towards and um, and that's making him stressed in his life and making him work a lot. So let's see, Divine Feminine, who are you? Oh, that's good. This is uh, the Ace of Air. Um, this is the Ace of Thoughts as well. And uh, you have really good uh, air uh, pictures. Uh, Queen of Air and Ace of Air. So... Um, and this means that uh, something uh, magnificent uh, is coming to him through you um, because you are the light and you're entering uh, his life with um, huge abundance and huge gifts and just um, uh, a perfect... Uh, amount of knowledge um, and just um, um, an airy feel <laughs> okay so um, and this is how he sees you as this beautiful uh, horse with angel wings just um, flying in the sky and the light is there and it's uh, he really likes you he really really I think admires you um, very much. So, um, and here the next card is uh, uh, about your divine masculine's hopes and fears. What is he hoping for, or what is his fears about? And here we have the uh, um, four of air. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just a minute. I'll just look in the book because I'm a little. Um, yeah, this is uh, about meditation. This guy is, um, he knows that he has to take some time for himself to um, uh, get his head uh, around all of these things. All right, so um, he knows that um, he needs a moment of contemplation and he needs um, to withdraw, um, to take care of himself. Um, and uh, Divine Feminine, if you're looking, that is also um, a gift to you, right? Because you need him to be uh, in um, a good place um, within himself so if he uh, 
chooses to come towards you, you want him to come with his heart and body and soul aligned. Okay? So, um, so give him time to do that. All right? And here we have the results of uh, <laughs> all of this. What is going to happen in the nearest future? And, uh, okay, we have a five of air. And that is a card of huge conflicts. So, um, um, what I'm hearing spirits say is that um, it's, a, it's conflict, but it's good conflict. Because... Um, he has uh, to um, reconcile with um, his old uh, thoughts uh, about who he is or uh, what he can be and um, what he um, um, is allowed to do uh, concerning his own uh, his own benefits okay spirit is telling me to read this wait um, I'm just going to read here um, this is conflict in a good way <laughs> um, I can see my motives and intentions I can use this experience to evolve in a more authentic version of myself it's not about winning it's about having integrity and other people uh, might think uh, in a different way towards me now um, and they might not always agree but i'm opening up for this uh, opportunity to live my own fullest life and let go all right so um it's a little stressful time for this divine masculine and uh, so you must uh try to understand okay divine feminine uh, if you're waiting for a guy like this all right i'm going to right away pull some cards because uh um Spirit said, wants me to uh, do the exact same version of um, um, the spread I did before. Wait a minute. I didn't um, actually shove the cards very well. Um, since, let me just. Whew, they're jumping. They are jumping. Alright, so Spirit is trying to get another, um, um, a deeper sense of this card, alright, and what's going to actually uh, happen in the near future, and maybe more, what is this tem temptation really about, okay, so um, we have two cards here, yeah, that one, no, no more. Ah, seven of earth. This is a really good card. This card indicates that uh, after the five of uh, earth in uh, air uh, and all the conflicts that has been going on, he actually uh, is coming into himself. He knows who he is now and uh, he, he really... Um, he feels confident uh, in um, in who he is and uh, and the knowledge he now has. Um, so, um, just a minute. I'm looking at the book. I don't know why I, I need to. Okay, there is a new strategy here, and he is at a crossroads. Um, and um, 
he's no longer uh, making compromises um, that doesn't benefit himself, okay? And he wants to take a decision now. Um, but he feels more ready to make that decision uh, in his life because he, um, he knows the truth about this now. He knows where he should go now. And so that is a, such a beautiful card for this uh, Divine Masculine. And, and what is this truth about? Ah, my God. It's about love. Oh, shit. These readings are just blowing me away. My God. Oh my God, oh my God, we, we went from temptation to real love. This is real love, my... Shit, sorry, I can't swear. <laughs> because that, that's what number six is. It says love right here in Danish. Kærlighed. It's love. And actually the Leo is there again. If you go back and watch uh, the last reading, uh, daily reading I made, um, mm, the Leo was there uh, rem representing the Emperor uh, as Divine Masculine. So um, you could uh, be dealing with a Leo <laughs> in this situation. It doesn't have to be a Leo, but you could. Um, um, this card uh, just tells me that... Um, Divine Masculine thinks uh, of his Divine Feminine as uh, the truest love of all. And also this is a major Akana card that means this love will uh, unfold itself and there is no um, way back. This is uh, mm, true love, all right? It's so strong, it's very, very strong and lives are going to change, okay? Oh my god, I have to take off my my blouse. It's such a woolen blouse and it's really hot right now. It's summer. <clears throat> okay. Um yeah. Next step, next step. The romance angels. So we can get a little more acquainted with um hmm what kind of love uh are we looking at here what kind of love oh my god the first card is in the deck here is express your love okay so um well <laughs> i'm gonna shuffle as well but now you know uh <laughs> that this was uh, the first card here <sighs> so maybe this uh, divine masculine should get out of his hole and start expressing himself <laughs> Oh. Give me just a minute. Okay, what's spirit telling me? What I'm doing? Okay, I'll give it one more. Okay, here we go. One, two, spirit, three, four, five, more. No, just they wanted five cards. It's not a little. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll see. First card. True love. It's just, uh, I can't believe it. It's almost all of the readings I make, uh, they end up uh, just um, in true love situations. Um, this is the, the time right now. Um, this divine masculine, divine feminine energy is uh, going crazy. Uh, and that's why everybody is like, all over the place like what what should i do i wasn't ready for this true love <laughs> Shit. sorry i swore again okay 
anyway next card is um healing family issues and here we're um being dragged right back into um the stress of the divine masculine because uh these are some of the people that he um um feels like he has to be there for um and um and he needs uh forgiveness from pe these people um and this spirit is telling me these people are involved in the conflict that he is about to create uh because of making this decision for himself and so he needs to um ask for their forgiveness and uh, to ask himself for forgiveness um something um is not going to be received um like he really um, wishes uh from the depth of his heart he's not um trying to hurt anyone he's just trying to um uh, free a situation that has been stagnated for way too long and it might include children it really might so um but spirit is right on top of him and and telling him it's the right way to go and you're doing great you can do it all right so um all right Oof. Oh, i feel sad and then the next card is finances and career. Because this divine masculine feels like he has to get his uh, career straight. He has to uh, get his finances uh, um, um, right on track. And um, before he can take the next uh, move uh, into this uh, love um uh, relationship uh, even though it's true love for him uh, he feels like he still has a lot of work to do and uh, and uh, to get there where he and his beautiful lady can lay there peacefully together okay so um, and the next card is um, retreat uh, okay He's wanting to take care of her. He's wanting to take care of her just like this beautiful lion is taking care of this beautiful woman. And so he, she can lay there uh, close to him, spooning him, feeling completely safe in his arms. This uh, divine masculine is such a gentleman and he's so romantic and... Um, um, caring he's really uh, I, f I feel like this energy is just over over uh, it's completely taking um, uh, my god I can't I can't even speak anymore <laughs> it's uh, this this guy will just sweep sweep you sweep you off your feet and this is his intentions. And these are why he's uh, been so focused on his uh, career and and uh, money. is Because he, um, in the end, he wants to give you the ab abundance that you uh, actually deserve. Because he sees you as this beautiful light horse with wings in the sky. <laughs> so he just wants to, to give you. Uh, the sky and the stars and the moon and the sun all right so and uh, he's planning to take you on a little uh, retreat um, okay yeah spirits are reminding me about the last reading uh, because there was the honeymoon card and we they told me it was a retreat so here it's coming again um, he uh he's uh, needing um some uh soulful and uh um um just loving uh peace and quiet together with you and to show you what he can do for you and uh and show show you a uh, divine feminine a little bit about 
his world perhaps or um, all of the gifts that he can give you so um okay divine feminine look forward to that <laughs> and it's it's here again it's really here again it comes up freaking all the time the soulmate relationship so that really is ah uh, my god it's putting um uh, a sample of all of this this is um this is how he feels about you uh divine feminine you're his soulmate all right so um look at all of this as a gift that he's trying to collect uh to you uh like a castle he's making or um just um i can't find the english word um uh, just an environment that you can uh, live in together. But he has to feel more stable within himself, all right? Um, but he's, he, he's not doubting this anymore. He's not doubting this. He knows what he wants, and he knows that it's you, Divine Feminine, because you're his soulmate, all right? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. Okay, um, the last cards, uh, Spirit, what was, I can't remember what they were. Okay, it's a card for you, Divine Masculine, and your Divine Feminine. Who are you guys? Um, so, um, I'm gonna uh, do these cards again. I didn't uh, actually... Um, announced what they what cards i was using the good fairy no the good tarot i i always say the good fairy i don't know why but the good tarot by colette baron reed yeah okay a card for each of you Takes me forever to shuffle these cards. The deck is the deck is so uh, <laughs> the deck is so uh, uh, thick. Oh shit! <laughs> I was just about to make one more sexual joke. All right, back to what we came from. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> Those Freudian. <clears throat> um, accidents coming out of my mouth spirit says uh, <laughs> they come from spirit as well so it's not an, an accident <laughs> okay card number one here and card number two this is divine feminine this was divine masculine okay so divine masculine <laughs> who are you the magician <gasps> of course you're the magician because you have you know you have been all over the place the magician um has all of the tools uh, uh in the universe uh to create the life that he really wants right now and he's been juggling his thoughts he's been feeling his emotions he's been working hard and uh and uh, he's uh, been uh, talking to spirit in meditation. So he has uh, everything uh, in his uh, toolbox right now. Um, this is such a good card. And also, it's a card of a new beginning. It's number one. So what do you want, Divine Masculine? What do you want? You want true love, right? You want true love. And uh, you want this person. Oh, I can't wait to see who she is, Divine Feminine. Shit! <laughs> Shit! It's the, it's the Empress. 
Oh, sorry, I'm swearing so much today. <laughs> it's going crazy. This card in the last reading, uh, Divine Feminine, was the Empress just as well. These two last two cards actually was the Emperor and the Empress. Now it's the Magician card uh, in the Divine Masculine uh, card, but it's still such a really, really good card because the, these two cards are still the major Akana cards. Okay, so uh, uh, huge transformations are going to happen. And these guys fit just as well as the Emperor and the Empress. Okay? <laughs> it's just uh, amazing. Because the Empress is uh, this beautiful, beautiful uh, woman, divine, feminine, woman soul. Um, and uh, she's... Uh, has all of the respect of uh, her magician right here and she's uh she's just uh, uh um connected to the earth uh and connected to her heart and connected to spirit all of the those uh things uh, she got the world in her hands and uh She's the perfect mother, she's the per perfect wife, she's the perfect sister and daughter and just um, wife, all right? She's a um, divine feminine um, all wrapped into one. Um, she has a, um, a goddess uh, energy. Really beautiful, so beautiful. And the magician, he's he can just uh, create whatever he wants. He has such a, a beautiful strength and just uh, such a beautiful confidence uh, within whatever he's he's doing in his life. He's a uh, he's a uh, talented. He's a juggler, and he can juggle like really really good. <laughs> uh, Whatever he wants, uh, he can manifest in his life. Um, so, um, and Divine Feminine, you respect him. You respect him. And he respects you very much. So, you guys make a good couple. <laughs> wow. I didn't... Uh, I didn't know which cards I was going to get either of them. And those two, when Spirit tells me this is about who you guys are, I don't know if, I, if I'm if i getting a Six of Cups or a Six of Swords or whatever. But no, I get these two Akarna cards. And these two are human beings uh, uh, in a spiritual sense also. But these uh, cards are just so personalized. That makes it so strong to me. Just, uh, and you know, I've been doing this for a very long time, but very often, mm, spirit just surprises me um, with this uh, shit. <laughs> I did it again. Sorry. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. Divine uh, masculine. Um, you are uh, coming to stand the right side up, okay? And you're going to feel this together with your beautiful uh, Empress, okay? Wow. I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. It's just um, I'm completely blown away. Um, so you guys... Uh, Enjoy and wait for it. All right? Wait for it. Love and soulmate. Just wait for it. All right. Thank you so much for watching uh, my videos. Um, please, you guys, like and subscribe um, uh, as much as you can. Share if you... Uh, have a friend that's uh, um, needing to hear these words um, 
maybe you have a divine feminine friend or a divine masculine um, this reading can work for both I'm um, I think and I'm gonna put in um, a link to the first uh, video uh, that was more uh, uh, directed at divine feminine but it was still uh, completely about both of them so um, I'm gonna do that thank you so much for watching Goodbye.